Continuing to fill questions for you, Samili. I have a student who says that he's an IMG preparing for step one with a weak foundation. I've made plenty of clips talking about uh, preparing for step one when your foundation is weak. And, I'm either, and I've made a separate clip on that, that it's either posted before or after this video. I don't know. But this student in particular mentions a bunch of obscure fucking resources, which I'm not going to give them oxygen by mentioning their names. But he mentioned a bunch of obscure fucking resources and wants to know if he should tackle those resources, build his foundation first, okay? Should you do a lot of reading, okay? Build your foundation up before you really get into questions in QBank, okay? I'll give you a very solid answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, not start the clip. So students asking about how to prepare for step one when he, when he has weak foundation. Should he be doing a lot of reading, foundation building, uh, before he dives into QBank, okay? And my answer here is absolutely not. I want you starting on QBank, yes. Especially the fact that uh, step one is pass fail. If you're studying for 2CK, I still want you starting on questions, even though it's numerical, okay? But in this case, especially the fact that we have a pass fail exam for step one, waste of fucking time to be reading random resources you need to recognize that questions are the major source of your score augmentation, okay? Not reading. I've made clips talking about how the Tetrad for your step one prep is going to be number one. You're going to finish all of UWorld, all of it, okay? No, I don't want you doing half of it. I want you doing all of it. There's a time and place for not finishing all of UWorld if, let's say, your scores are really, really good, okay? We understand you're amazing, and we want to consider... Uh, jamming step one quickly so that we can knock step two out of the way so you can apply for the match in time. There is a time and place, okay? Your school is forcing you to sit step one and you're not going to have enough time to do world. In general, if possible, I want you doing all your world. That's the first component. The second component is all of the NBME exams, 20 through 30, 20 through 24 offline, 3, 120, then you're going to do 25 through 30. I've made tons of clips talking about how to go through the NBME exams, okay? But I want you knowing all 11 forms, 20 to 30, 11 forms, 200 questions per form, 20, 200 questions, essentially a QBank plus 3, 120, okay? So 23, 20 questions after you finish UWorld. The third component is my PDFs that are on my website, which high yield arrows being the most important, it rules in. If you know that, it's highly specific for you passing if you know that PDF well. Fourth component being the audio QBank here on my YouTube where by playlist, biochem, farm, micro, etc., you knock out all those questions on audio QBank casually. Okay, you're brushing your teeth, flossing, you have your phone right there, you can listen to a clip while you're commuting, while you're at the gym, cleaning, okay, cooking. So you can knock out those questions. That's your Tetrad. Uh, no, I don't want you... Uh, reading obscure resources, trying to build foundation, this notion of uh, foundation building prior to doing questions. You need to just dive right into the questions, correct, as that's the source of your score augmentation. Allow yourself to do shitty in QBank, okay? Don't worry about your performance in QBank. Don't get bogged down with it. Just go through the QBank, get shitty percentages by all means, and then you're going to come out the other side and you're going to try to do as well as you can, starting with the offline NBMEs. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.